Having a full screen model that is overlaid on top of our UI is quite a common pattern and one that is supported by the built-in model component in React Native. So let's take a look. We start off with an empty React Native application and we bring in the model component from React Native and we intend to create two screens, one with a simple button to show the model and a model screen with a button to dismiss the model. Whether the model is shown or not can be controlled by a simple state variable which we can create from the React's built-in use state and then we create two utility functions, one to set this to true and one to set this to false. In our main screen area within the safe area view, we create a simple button called show that is wired to the show method and then we use the built-in model component setting its visible property to the visible state variable and this model contains a simple button with the title hide wired to the utility hide function. Now if we run this app, we see this show button and indeed we can press it to set visible to true that brings the model into focus. But notice that we cannot see the hide button that we created. And the reason is that the model is actually a full screen takeover and that hide button is actually getting hidden by the notch. So a pro tip, if you're using a model, add a safe area view within that model as well. And we're just doing a minor style tweak on the safe area view to make sure that it fills up the entire screen and giving it a nice gray background to get a visual indication of what screen we are currently looking at. And with these changes in place, we can see our model, we can see the hide button and we can play around with the show and hide as much as we want. Now, right now our model is quite abrupt, but it does come with built-in animations, which are slide and fade, which we can specify as a prop. The prop that we are looking for is called animation type. And if we set it to slide, when we press show, the model will slide in from the bottom. And when we press hide, the model hides down back to bottom. Note that on an actual device, this actually behaves quite smoothly. And of course, the other animation type that we mentioned is fade. And now as we toggle the visibility of the model, notice that it fades in and then fades out. Now there is one prop that is actually often overlooked, but it is required on Android in order to handle the back button and be a good citizen. Now on an Android device, we can show and hide the model using the buttons that we created as you would expect. However, if you press the back button while the model is being displayed, the model does not get dismissed. So if you plan on using this built-in model, be sure to add the on request close prop and wire it to whatever function that you have to hide the model. Now with this prop provided, now if you press the back button, you can see that the model gets dismissed. And we can demonstrate that again by opening up the model and pressing the back button. Now right now our model is completely overlaying the existing view, but we can actually make it behave more like a message prompt by setting it to transparent mode. For this, we are going to create two styles, one for the translucent overlay that is going to be shown over the existing screen and one for the main container for our model content. For the overlay, we give it a fixed height, a gray background color and an opacity of 0.5. And for our main content, we make it flex into the entire remaining space with a background color of white. We set the animation type for the model to be fade. And in order for the main screen content to shine through the upper section, we have to set the transparent property to true. For the upper portion of this model, we create a simple pressable with style wide to styles.upper and on pressing this faded out portion, we will dismiss the model. And in the lower portion, we have a simple view containing the button that when clicked also dismisses the model. Now, when we press the show button to show the model, we can see the pressable section with the nice opacity. And because the model itself is transparent, we can see the underlying screen through this pressable section. And of course, we can dismiss the model by either pressing the hide button or pressing any of the pressable section that is translucent in the upper section of this model. As always, thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.